Now let's handle the image upload in Firebase. So Firebase has a bucket or a storage we can say where we can upload images or other files. So the first step to do that is go to storage here in Firebase. Now click the get started button here. They can, I mean we can start in test mode here. Okay, it's starting. So let's wait. I will just reference this. I mean take the blog, this blog as reference because I don't remember the exact steps to do that. Okay, click next. We need this, click done. And we will have our default bucket here where we can image, I mean we can store the images. Meanwhile, if you check the blog here, we have to import this thing called storage. Where? Where is it? One second. Yes, see, get storage from Firebase storage. So import from Firebase slash storage. So let me just add get storage like this. And we will have to create a constant, a variable for storage instance. So storage equals to get storage that we just imported. And in here, we will pass the app like this. Now just export it here. And we are done for this. Now the next step is. So we have done the bucket thing. I mean, we have created a bucket. Fine. Now the next thing is to do that is go into this file called components common. Let's say profile edit. Here we will create. Okay, it's loading. Here we will create this image icon type thing. Or let's say a button first. So let me just let it load and then we will create. I think it's compiling and optimizing dependency or something. Okay. Meanwhile, let me explain the code here. What is it? So we need one reference, one download URL, I mean get download URL and one upload bytes resumable to upload the file. Okay. So we can also create a function like this can we also do, but first, uh, okay. So here we should create a button or an input so input and this should be of type file save and we will have our input here okay which page is this okay, this is edit page we don't need it here we need it in the profile card page so components or should we make it in edit page or here Hmm. Let's see. Okay, let me see. On LinkedIn, we have on this page. So com components common profile card. Here. So we can make it here. Okay. Let's just uh, make it in the profile card itself. And we will have this. We can click this to choose a file. Okay. So this will send us a response. I mean, this input will send us a file if we upload a file. So we can create a function. Let's say get image. And this function will be on this. So we can say on change. This. So it will send us an event. And to get the image that we will have, we can just do uh, console.log event.target.file i files so if you save now let's try this and see what happens open the console let me upload one image file here for example let me have my image so it's in this folder i mean in this drive let's try this image yes so see we are having the file list. So if you are uploading one file, you can get it like this. So now if you choose a file, you will get that images data. So let me do that. See, we are getting all of these items. So we are having this event. Okay. 
now let's store this uh, event not target dot file zero i mean the current file into a state so say uh, current image set current image equals to use state so it will be an object so make it an object then simply store it here like this now let's check the documentation here and what we have so we need to create an api for this so in the api file okay wait a second okay yes in the api file let's make a uh, let's say storage or let's say image upload dot jsx so in here let's do our things that we need we need to store we need to import the storage from here just like we have here so let me show you in the fire store we are update we are just importing the fire store from here the so same way we have to import storage so import storage from firebase config then we know we need these things also so these are import a few things that we will add so import these things from firebase slash storage okay so these are called ref so ref is to create a reference get download by download url to get the url when we upload a file successfully and then upload bytes reasonable to upload the file successfully so we don't need this file so just close it okay then what we have is we need to add a function so let's say con uh, export const let's say upload image like this so in here first of all we also need to create a ref i mean reference to the storage bucket so let's say const storage or say let's add this for profile picks and in here we will use ref then we will pass the storage and the folder we will create a folder here so say add back ticks and say files slash the name of the file so this should be done here i mean inside this because only then we can access the file name so we can just say file dot name and we will get the file from the parameter parameters okay that's done now the next step to do is just say upload tasks wait upload tasks okay we have to create the reference for this as well so let me do it here so const upload task so this will be the task that will upload our current image so we'll use upload bytes resumable and in here we will pass the reference which is called the profile pics just make this as profile pics ref pass it here and then the file that we are getting from parameter so we know in which uh, in which folder to send our data i mean upload the file and what will be the i mean the task i mean which file to upload fine now we will have upload task this one that we created dot o n that is mean that means that our fort uh, that means our image is uploading so state changed and if it changes i mean it's a param then we will add a snapshot not snapshot snapshot and in here the snapshot will contain the data of our image upload so first let's check the progress so say const progress equals to let's do this i mean snapshot dot bytes transferred divided by snapshot dot total bytes this means that how many bytes are uploaded and how many total bytes so we can use this for a progress bar and we have to multiply this by 100 with the okay we have to multiply this 
by the set progress percentage what is this okay okay let's leave it for now just wrap this in a like we have to round the value so we can say math dot round fine hmm okay now if it now it's done now second thing we can do is the error so we will have to catch them also so the error and we can alert if any errors have any error happens so we say console dot error just add error fine now the next thing to do is get the download url if it succeeds so we can have an empty callback i mean the param will be empty and it and in this we will use this get download url where we will pass the upload task dot snapshot dot ref so when it is done we will have a callback again so say then let's say response and in the response let's just okay let's just console the response to get the image url if it succeeds now what else do we have we don't have anything so just save it we are not using the progress but we can use it later okay i don't know why it's okay okay it's it was hidden okay what we need to do is just multiply this with with 100 to find its percentage 100 then we can just say in the console so do this now let's give it a try and see what happens give it a refresh first now click the let me go to the profile page view profile click upload file i mean choose file let me choose a file here some i mean some good file let's try this now we have chosen this okay one second but the problem is we don't need this file okay one sec components common profile card index okay so the we are not running this okay we have to run the function also okay we are not running this sorry this thing happened so import upload image from api file now let me create a function so const let's say upload uh, picture and if you want to change the name let's say upload image as upload image api now just make this as upload image it will work fine in this we will call upload image api and we will pass this parent file which is the current image like this so we need a button as well to trigger the upload so let's create it just a simple button for now so let's say upload now just copy the function name upload image and add the function name here so on click upload image so we refresh the page once let's try from the beginning select a file let's say this file and click upload open the network tabs and let's see what are we getting we are getting nothing okay so let's check the storage and see what we having what are we having here okay we cannot upload any image for now so what might be the problem so let's try rules okay if we click upload the upload image function is running and it's passing the current image here which is the file it should work but it's not okay image upload okay now it's working okay the button was not clickable but so now we have this link so click the link and we will be on this we will have this image in the new tab and this is a link 
that we can store in the fire store. Now go to files and we will have a folder called files. So let's make the folder to be profile images. Now if you will upload a file, the folder name will change. So let me delete this folder. So let me go back this and just click this and delete. Now let me upload one more file here. So I don't need, we need the block for now. So just remove it. Let me refresh the page. Okay. Let me upload other file. So just go to choose the file. Let me see where we have or where I have my images stored. So in this folder, let's say this and then say this. Now let me upload this image. The best image that I have. Okay, click upload here. And 0%, 3%, 8, 10, 22, 14, whatever. We are saying the percentage of the image upload. And if it reaches 100, it will show us the link of the image that we have. This is the image. We can zoom this and zoom out. Now, if you refresh this, you will have the image here in this folder called profile images like this. Now we can use this URL that we are getting and add that URL to the profile picture as a profile picture. So <coughs> let me create or let me create a, let's say, what is it? Let me create a state here called uh, image image link comma set image link equals to use state let's say a string we have to pass this set image link to this function i mean upload current um, upload image api let's get it here and just store the uh, image link here so we don't need the progress for now so let's remove it we can add a progress bar letter so this contains our image link and we can do this also let me create a use effect so say use effect and when this image link changes or we will get it when this we have it we will run a function to upload the database i mean the name so let me go to firestore database and in here we will have the users table see this table so whenever you upload a file the link will be sent to us then if the link is sent to us this user effect hook will run and we will store the image in the database as profile picture so open the firestore api.jsx let me have the file or the option I mean, let's have to update the, uh, what is it? To update the profile. So where is it? Like post, get likes by user, post comment, post user data, get single user. Okay, I think this is it, it. This is it. Let me search for this. No, it's add doc. We need something with update doc. Where was it? On snapshot, on snapshot again post okay let's check edit profile okay where is the update doc let's check just search for it yes this is here edit profile so we need to get the function from pirate store so say edit profile function and when this is effect hook runs we will just call the function so don't need this for now and this neither so we have to pass the user ID and the payload from in this function. So the user ID is the ID of the user. And the user ID is, I think, this, oh no, not this. So let's say current user. Let's console this. So. Okay, wait a second. 
वट इज द प्रॉब्लम हेयर फंक्शन डॉक के नॉट बी कॉल्ड विद एन एम्प्टी पाथ ओके लेस जस्ट कमेंट इट फॉर नाउ ओके नाउ वी विल गेट आवर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इन द ऑब्जेक्ट वी हैव द आई डी ऑफ द यूजर सो वी कैन जस्ट फिल्टर इट आउट लाइक दिस सो वी आर ऑन दिस यूजर कॉल निशांत कुमार सो लेट्स चेक दिस इज अशांत कुमार येस एंड द आई डी इज डब्ल्यू टू ई सी द सेम आई डी हेयर इफ यू पास द आई डी इन दिस फंक्शन कॉल एडिट प्रोफाइल विद द पेलोड दैट विल अपलोड आवर फाइल I mean the payload will be the file. So just say the payload. Where is it? Let me clear this and image link. So just send this in the edit profile. When the image link changes, this will be sent in the edit profile, and it will come up here. So let's try this. Okay, invalid data. Hmm. Let's refresh this. What's the problem here? User ID, user ref. We are passing the ID and payload here. We are passing the ID and the image link in the edit profile. So what is the problem here? Function doc cannot be called with an empty path. Okay, the problem that we had is solved. so what i mean is we are having this upload image that is running on the button click and inside we have upload image api that is upload image in here we are having this api and when the file upload completes this will call this method called i mean function called edit profile coming from firestore api that updates updates the profile so it takes the id and payload so we are passing the id current user and the payload and we are passing from here as well i mean this id and payload comes here then this function gets called and the id and payload then goes here and it updates the profile so now let's try this let me choose a file here so any file let's try this file click upload and in some time our image will be uploaded and we will see a toast here so let's wait for it and see we are getting this profile has been updated and we have removed the setter functions from here we only need file and id which we are passing from here now if you check this link here let me go to this link and we will see it here see this image that we uploaded fine now let's just cancel this and show the image here so if you okay where is the image so it's in this let's say this current profile or current user in, in any one of them so just console dot log current user and check it here so we are having an object inside we will have the image link so just get it here like this save it and we will have the image link fine so now let me create one uh, image tag here so where should this be okay, let's it let's add in the profile info so this diff contains our h3 and all so let's try here so the image or img src in here let's just add current user dot image link and make the alt tag as uh just say profile image save and we will have the image but it is very big so we have to style them so let me add a, a class name called profile image so copy this class come over to the styling of the file and where is it i mean profile info in this let's add it here so here we will have width say 100 pixels okay small let's try 
ओके थ्री हंड्रेड और मे बी टू फिफ्टी फाइन दिस इज फाइन ओके नाउ बॉर्डर रेडियस फिफ्टी परसेंट टू मेक दम और मेक इट राउंडेड देन वी ऑल्सो नीड टू एड द हाइट हेयर सो हाइट से टू फिफ्टी पी एक्स सो नाउ वी हैव अ सर्कुलर बट सर्कुलर इमेज हेयर जस्ट लाइक लिंक इन बट लेट्स मेक इट टू हंड्रेड ओके सो वी हैव दिस हेयर सो इन दिस नेम आई मीन इन द वेट इन द करंट आई मीन प्रोफाइल इन फो वी हैव दिस यूजर नेम लेट मे गिव सम मार्जिन टॉप और इमेन द मार्जिन टॉप फ्रॉम हेयर एंड वी विल हैव इट लाइक दिस फाइन डोंट वर्ड विल स्टाइल अदर थिंग्स लाइक दिस इमेज एंड अपलोड इमेज एज वेल सो वाट कैन वी डू नाव इज वेयर इज द इमेज दैट वी हेस्ट एडेड ओके लेट मी एड सम बॉर्डर हेयर अराउंड सो लेट से बॉर्डर टू पी एक्स सॉलिड टू वन टू वन टू वन सेव एंड इट विल हैव अ बॉर्डर सो लेट्स एड सम पैडिंग ऑल्सो कॉन टेल पिक्सल्स नाउ दिस कलर ऑफ दिस बॉर्डर शुड बी लाइटर So choose this and find now make it a little bit more light. Okay, then make this padding to seven or even five. Now we have this image just like LinkedIn. Fine, but the border is okay. I think it's fine. It looks fine. Now we have the image as well. Now I think that's all for this section. I mean we have uploaded image. and we can see it 